Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here today because it is the 28th of April and today is the Dewey's 24 hour readathon. I have never took part in the Dewey's 24 hour readathon before because I have always wanted to and I keep seeing people do it and I'm like, oh I wish I could do that but number one, shit it's staying up late. <laughs> and number two, I'm always doing something and it just doesn't fit into my day very well. Um, but today it fits in perfectly. This is like the perfect time. So I'm going back to England today and I haven't told anyone. I'm just gonna show up at home and be like, hi. So that's exciting. But I am going from Zurich to Basel on a train, which is like an hour and a half. And then I fly from Basel and I don't fly till like 10. So I'm gonna have a lot of time for reading. I'm not gonna get home till about two in the morning. So I'm just going to say that my readathon is starting now, which isn't so bad, it's like half 11 and I'm only going to be doing it until I get home really, so I'm going to get home around 2 and I'm going to stop them just because I need to turn the lights off else everyone's going to go home. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited though about this readathon and I feel like I'm in a really good position because I'm travelling on my own and I'm going to be getting loads of trains and getting on the plane and just all of these things that add up to reading time to avoid people talking to me because I do that often. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm planning to read today and then I'm just going to like vlog a bit, maybe be embarrassed and not vlog a bit. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So the first thing that I'm going to be finishing now, I'm going to start once I've finished this is um, Harry Potter History of Magic. I'm nearly finished with this. I've been really, really, really enjoying it. Um, I think it's definitely going to be a five stars for me. I'm on page 196 and there's like, I don't know, 70 pages left to go. So I'm going to finish that this morning. Um, and then, yeah, I've got a few books that I am currently reading that I'm going to try and finish off. Uh, the first is North by Seamus Heaney. I am about halfway through this, so I am planning to finish this one. Not as enjoyable as I thought it was going to be. The poems that I'd read off my friend, I still liked, but the other poems, yeah, not loving. So it's a shame, but I'm going to finish that one. I can describe by Anne Bronte, and I am 30% through the audiobook, I think. So hello again, I am back just to like tell you what I read during the readathon. Um, I will say a lot of the stuff got corrupted on my camera so I lost a lot of the footage and that's why none of the vlog is here but there was more of it unfortunately. It is gone. Um, but I had a really really good readathon. Um, it was quite nice because my flight was delayed on the way back for about an hour and a half. And I could see everyone around me really pissed off because it is annoying when your flight gets delayed. <laughs> I think because I was doing the readathon, I was like, it's fine, I'm just up longer, I'm reading more, no worries. <laughs> and I just kept like trotting through, and I feel like I read so many books in such a short space of time. And I'm so happy with my reading. I read so many great things that just made me so happy. So I had a brilliant. Um, readathon and I just thought I'd like wrap it up and show you all the books that I managed to read. So yeah obviously it was the Jewish 24 hour and I think I ran it from about half 11 on the day that I was flying to about half 11 the next day. I didn't stick specifically to the rules just because it was too hard to work out because I was in Switzerland where it's supposed to start at three I think or four and then I was going back to England where it was supposed to start at one but the the time difference is only an hour so why is there a time difference of like two or three hours before, between the readathons and I was just like fuck it I'm just gonna do my own 24 hours and that's fine um, so that's what I did so I'm just gonna show you all the books that I managed to finish and get to and all of that stuff one book I will not show you but kind of um I finished sorting my Harry Potter thing out because I always like to touch my Harry Potter books a lot <laughs> but I did finish Harry Potter History of Magic which I'm not going to take out because I just redid all of this um but yeah I finished that and it was amazing I am absolutely in love 
<laughs> that book, it was wonderful. If you are a Harry Potter fan, I would highly recommend it. It is wonderful and brilliant. Um, so there's that one. And then I was listening to Agnes Grey on audiobook. I was about 45 or 49% through it, something like that. I listened to about 10% more. Um, I'm now on 62%. So, yes, read some more of that and I'm quite enjoying it. And so I will definitely finish it in this soon. I was supposed to finish it at the end of the month, but I'm just like, I'll do what I want. It's fine. My own time. I'm shit at readathons and following reading things for the year. So I'm just doing my own thing. So there was that. Then I finished North by Seamus Heaney, which I ended up giving two stars. I was so excited for this book and I thought I was going to love it. It's a poetry collection and I did not love it. Um, part two, there's a part two section in that kind of saved it and I gave it an extra star because of that. It would have been one star otherwise. Um, I really thought I was going to love it because I'd read some of the poems before, but I just didn't. So yeah, unfortunately, that was not great. Then I read though, what is now I think my favourite poetry collection, um, Hold Your Own by Kate Tempest. This is wonderful. This is so amazing. I'm not really going to say much about it because I think I'm going to film a separate review for this on its own because there's just so much that I love about this that I just need to gush about it. Um, but yeah, this is wonderful. This is probably, like, my favourite poetry collection is probably Undying by Michelle Faber. And this, I think, I think, takes over. I think this is the new favourite. I think. It's hard to say that. <laughs> this is amazing. So I finished this one. And then I was reading Fahrenheit 451 by Bray Bradbury. I started this yesterday. Uh, then I read 128 pages. I was reading this like on the flight mostly. And this is really good. I'm really, really enjoying this. I think it's going to end up being a four stars from what I'm reading so far. Um, the only thing that's bothering me a bit is to do with like the writing is not very descriptive or like beautiful like I like quite beautiful writing unless there's a reason for it not being beautiful and I feel like there could just be a lot nicer writing in this and there isn't and that was just a, a choice the author made but I don't really know why maybe they'll maybe that'll work maybe by the end I'll be like no it worked five stars but I think it's going to be four because of that. But the story is amazing and I'm really, really enjoying it. So read half of this. And then in the morning when I woke up, I like said hi and everything. Um, and then my mum is a teacher. So she was trying to get all the lesson plans done on the Sunday um, so that we could spend the afternoon together and go do something. Um, so... Yeah, there was about an hour and a half left of the readathon, and I was like, okay, I'll try and read some books while she's doing her work. So I managed to get two graphic novels in. The first was Jane the Fox and Me by Fanny Britt and Isabel Arsenal. This is a reread. I've read this before and loved it and gave it five stars, and I read it again and loved it and gave it five stars. It's about a little girl who's getting bullied, and she like finds solace in the story of Jane Eyre. She's reading it for the first time, and it's just wonderful seeing it through her eyes and like. She has a lot of um, self-esteem problems, which I can really relate to. So, yeah, this is just beautifully drawn and everything about it is wonderful and I love it. And, yeah, I gave it five stars. It was great. And then the final thing that I read was The Arrival by Sean Tan, which I gave three and a half stars. Um, this is, like, an about a guy who emigrates to a new country and is basically like trying to make some money before his family come to join him or he's making the money so that his family can join him. Um, it's a silent graphic novel so at times you're not completely sure um, and it's it's a bit like magical realism as well. I did really really enjoy this. I think because it was a silent graphic novel the lack of like actual words and descriptions meant that I didn't completely connect and that's one of the reasons that I gave it three and a half stars and not higher. Um, but I did really, really enjoy this and I think it's a really like refreshing way to tell a story. So I very much enjoyed this and would highly recommend it. So yeah, that is everything I read during the readathon and I'm really, really happy with what I read. And I think every time I go to the airport, no, I'm going to start doing 24-hour readathons because it's just lovely and I had so much fun and these is, this is what I read and I'm just happy with it. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.